Okay, assalamualaikum and uh, and we see uh we back in our Dev 3D tutorial and training. So uh on previous video we have learned how to uh, install the Dev 3D GUI. Then now we proceed to how to set up the model. So uh basically uh we uh we need four files that to set up the model uh in the dev 3d flow okay the first file the first essential file is a uh, grid file uh there are two files in grid file which is a uh, grid self and enclose enclosure file and the second is the depth or bathymetry file uh model boundary file and lastly is a boundary condition file. This is uh, the essential file that we need for Dev 3D flow. So the optional files is uh, wind, uh, pressure gradient, or and so on. So uh, in this uh, tutorial, uh, we just uh, focus on these four files. So uh, on uh, so on optional file, you can read on Dev 3D uh, manual PDF. So uh, basically, um, grid, uh, grid generation uh, have two step. Uh, have have two uh, method. The first is using uh, uh, using RGF grid, uh, which is uh, the grid uh, generation within a uh, Dev 3D. A GUI software. Okay. Uh, this is a boundary fitted grid generation. And then uh, the second option is a uh, Dev 3 dashboard, which I I can uh, I show you in the next video. So on this video, just focus on RGF grid. Uh, using RGF grid. Okay, so uh, so I proceed lah uh, for the uh, first step. Okay, the first step you need is to select the working directory. In my case, I have already have the files, or uh, the folder which is a test folder. So I select this folder, and then uh, after you select the working directory, you click on grid, and then click on RGF grid. So it will show you the uh the GUI on uh grid generation. So the first thing you need to do is to have the uh, boundary file, which is the land boundary file, which is uh yes, this. So you need to have this to uh make sure lah, uh where you need to uh to generate the grid. Uh, in my case, I have a uh, land boundary, uh, land boundary uh, Malaysia. So uh, you can choose your land boundary, but uh, to to get this land boundary, you have to you need to have the chip file for the uh, chip file, and then you convert it to the land boundary. So I will show you the next video on that dashboard. So this is uh the Malaysia uh, land boundary. So the first thing you need to do is to uh, make sure the coordinate system. This is important uh, to to uh, to standardize the uh, coordinate system from grid to the last uh, uh, input data lah. So uh, in this case, we use the Cartesian uh coordinate system so uh in my case uh i need to use a uh, spherical spherical coordinate because uh my uh bathymetry data is in spherical coordinate system so uh first thing you need to do is to select the from partition to in into the spherical coordinate and then uh it will give you option one two three so if you 
want to know what is uh, one, two, three means, you just uh, put your cursor on uh, blank. And then you can see the UTM and then uh, two coordinate system, which I don't know. Lah. So uh, in my case, we chose one. And then uh, in Malaysia, uh, UTM zone is uh, 48. So change label to spherical, you just select one. Uh, means one is to uh, do change. Okay. Uh, so uh, in your information, RGF grid is uh, not stable yet, but we can uh, we can solve the problem lah. Uh, for example, if I click OK, it messing my line boundary. So So this is example, uh, it messing my line boundary. So the first thing you need to do is uh, just uh, reset it. So the first thing you need to do is uh, for file, click file and then new project. So uh, insert the line boundary again. So, uh, so you can see it's already in spherical uh, coordinate system, which is lat long. Uh, so uh, we can generate our grid lah. So uh, in my case, uh, I I want to create my grid in this area. So first thing you need to do is uh, click edit, and then you need to, to click spline, and then click new. Okay, uh, to make the grid, you just uh, need to draw uh, the square or rectangle. Or, uh, it is up to you. So in my case, I just uh, draw the uh, cube, the, uh, the square, <laughs> square shape. So uh, you just uh, click on the uh left left click and then make the one line okay after you done uh make one line you just click uh right click now and then it will uh save the line and then you need to uh make three line again so click right click Right click, then okay, right click, left click, left click, right click. So uh this is my square shape. So uh so this is my area to generate the grid lah. So uh if if I generate grid it, it will uh, generate reading uh, in this square shape. Okay, the first thing you need to do is click operation and then change splines into grid. So you can see uh, it already generated the grid, but uh, the grid uh, size is too too, uh, too big. So you need to re uh, refine the uh, grid coarseness. So Fine again. Uh, it is up to you. Uh, 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 what you want for your uh, grid size. So in my case, my grid size is. Uh, uh you can change. Uh, you can uh, check. Uh, uh, what your size. Uh, of your grid. So first thing you need to click is uh, move anchor. This symbol anchor, and then click A button. A, click A and then after you click A, you move your cursor into the next uh, grid and then you can see in the below this uh, distance value is 880 meter. So uh, my grid size is 880 meter. It is up to you uh, whether you want to use 30 meter, you can uh, 
define your grip and then you can get uh, 300 meter uh, it is up to your study case lah. so in my case uh, I just uh, use my 800 meter grid size okay uh, as, as you can see here you can see that a grid is uh, it's more towards to the land so we don't want this grid into the land boundary so what you need so we need to remove this uh, uh, in order to remove this you need to create the polygon so uh, in edit you click uh, you click polygon then click new and then you draw the uh, the area that you want to uh, remove so just uh, you just uh, draw your polygon okay uh, so after you're done you click operation you click uh, delete uh, click grid so you can see it's already delete uh, the grid uh, in the polygon so uh, we also don't want this polygon so you just delete the polygon okay so it's complete so uh, now we have complete the grid but the first thing you need to do uh, the grid uh, is very sensitive in the dev 3d flow so uh, the first thing you need to check is the orthogonality of it, uh, its grid so uh, according to according to data rest, uh, this is the guideline that they suggest uh, to uh, ensure the quality of a grid. So the first thing is the orthogonality. You need to uh, have the 0 0.02. So how to check it? So, uh, we have the option here. So you click the operations and then uh, Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, you, you click view and then uh, click uh, on grid property and then click the orthogonality. Okay, uh, click view again and then click the grid property style and then uh, select the continuous sheets. So you can see uh, our model is more than 0 0.02 so you can see here on the uh, new shop is 0 0.05 so which is not follow the criteria uh, given by GitHub so what you need to do is uh, you need to uh, lower the orthogonality value uh, by doing click operations Click, click or orthogonalize uh, grid so you can sh can show it decreasing so click again to uh, to decrease the orthogonality until you uh, until you done uh. So in my case, uh, most of the grid uh, is uh, its orthogonality is uh, below that uh, 0 0.02, so which is follow the criteria of the Taurus lah. So uh, what we need to do is the uh, export the grid. Export the grid. Then uh, my case, I select the name is grid lah. Save. Okay. Uh, Look, up, look back to the folder that we choose for our working directory. So it produced two files, grid and enclosure. So we have complete uh, the first uh, essential file, which is grid and file. 
So uh, secondly, we focus on depth and bathymetry file. So in case you have any uh, XYZ data or uh, data from GetCo, you can use to uh, make bathymetry file for depth for your model in depth 3 d So uh, so you can close the RTF create. And then uh, you click quit in data interpolation into computational grid. Okay. And then import back your grid. Okay, this is my grid. Okay. Uh, the format for XYZ data is uh, wait, eh? so this is uh, the uh, the format for XYZ data will very simple so you can follow this uh, format to uh, to make it easier for dev to read the uh, XYZ data. So uh, uh, between this data, uh, I use tab. This is the uh, tab instead of a uh, space. Uh, this is the format uh, for uh, dev 3D to read the XYZ data. Okay. So how to import the XYZ data on this uh, grid? The first thing you need to click is file, uh, attribute files, and then on per sample. So this data I get from GetCo. So you can use it uh, for your uh, model because we use a, a very large scale model. Just open. So you can see there, in one grid, we have uh, about around six uh, point data. So uh, how to uh, interpolate this data into the grid? So we have two options, grid cell averaging and uh, triangular interpolation. So uh, the, grid cell, the grid cell averaging is uh, we use uh, in in this situation which is we have one grid but in one grid we have six data six point of uh depth file a uh, depth uh, value so for the triangular interpolation uh we use this uh when we have uh one data uh, for example one uh, uh depth point in six uh See it's a uh, grid. So uh, we, we can use that uh, uh, in that situation. So in this situation, we just use a grid cell averaging. We just click here and then you start averaging this. And then uh, to remove this, uh, what we call a uh, knee, just view, sample and no sample. Oh, so now uh, we have our depth data. So how to export it? Uh, you just click File, Export, Depth. And then I, I name it as Depth. We just save it. So now we have uh, three data, a uh, three file, essential file, the grid, and then the depth. So we have complete the uh, what we call the essential files. First is script file, and then the depth file. So the next video, uh, I will show you how to make the how to set up the how to generate the grid, uh, how to generate bathymetry data using depth dashboard. So actually, second option is very uh, very easy lah compared to RGF grid because RGF grid uh quite quite un, quite un, unstable but 
the problem can be solved but using the dev dashboard is very easy lah. so so we uh, we see on the next video so thank you for your attention and uh, assalamualaikum